Hey, it's Joel, 3D Printing Nerd here at Murph, and I'm here with... Mara from Matter Hackers. And Mara is awesome. Matter Hackers is awesome. They've been growing in the community. They've been a big advocate of 3D printing and education. They've been a big advocate of getting this into the hands of people. Mara, what's some of the really exciting things coming out of Matter Hackers? There's a lot. Um, we're super excited to be here at Murph. We didn't make it last year, so it's been really great to just be with the community. Um, I love how it's basically like YouTube and Twitter live. <laughs> Um, everybody getting together in real life and um, I love that this is a show where I don't have to ask people if they have a printer instead I just ask them what are they printing because everybody has a 3d printer and everyone has really cool um, answers for what it is they're printing um, as far as what matter hackers is doing um, we're here showing our nylon X which is um, a composite of nylon and carbon fiber super super strong parts but you can pretty much print it on any printer because it prints at 250 265 250 to 265 um, really, really nice finish. We have actually an, an enable hand over here. Yeah. So this just came off an Ultimaker 2, no post-processing or anything. It's a really nice material if you're looking for super strong, usable parts. Oh, this, this was printed in the Nylon X? Mm -hmm. This is a Nylon X. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm also really, really excited about um, our new design challenge. Um, so Matter Hackers just launched with um, Lulzbot, enablingthefuture.org, and Pinshape, our second design challenge. Um, last year we did one for people that had, um, it's for the community to design assistive devices for people that have problems with their hands. And this year what we're doing is uh, having the community design um, educational models for the classroom for the visually impaired and students that are blind. This is a huge missing in the um, space right now. Like there's a need for more educational models. So um, we've got Lulzbot to um, give us a Lulzbot Mini as a prize for a designer under 18 and a Lulzbot Taz 6 for adult designers. And what we're looking for are examples, things like this. So really anything that you can use in the classroom, um, if you think about something that like you can't learn or would be tough to learn if you can't see a picture in a book or like watch a movie about it. So for example, like your inner ear, this is your cochlea. Is the cochlea? It is, it is the cochlea. I think it's called cochlea. Um, so like, yeah, so if you try and like touch that in your ear, that's not gonna go well for anybody. Um, and so if you can't like look at it in a picture in the book, then it's really hard to learn about. But if you have a tactile model like this, then all of a sudden it's accessible for learning for people that are visually impaired. Um, it could be busts of famous people, it could be um, examples of architecture, um, it could be things like, I don't know, I think fictional characters are actually a really good place to start, so anybody that's passionate about anything that it would be tough to imagine if you can't actually see it, make a model, upload it to Pinshape, you may win a 3D printer. That's really cool. Lulzbot Mini for anyone under 18 that's designer, and then it has six for anybody that's over 18. Yeah. Um, we can put the link down in the description below. I'll get that from you in a little bit. Finally, though, at Matter Hackers, obviously you guys are growing like crazy. What does the next six months look like? What do you have in the What do you have in the pipeline? Maker Fair. We're gonna have an epic, amazing booth at Maker Fair um, in the Bay Area. And we're inviting um, a lot of the YouTube creators to come and hang out with us. And um, we're going to have all the models um, that were submitted for this contest, which is going to be really cool. Um, the rest of it, um, what else are we doing? More printers. Um, we're working on some, uh, of course, the latest version of Matter Control just came out, 1.7. Um, so that's available for download. Um, we're working on new versions of the Touch. I'm not sure exactly when that's coming out, but it will be coming. Um, there's something that we're working on there. Um, new printers available. Um, we just started selling the Raise 3D, um, which I know you're a fan of. Oh, I'm a big fan of that machine. That's great. Yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe we can put that link down in the um, in the description as well if you want to check that out. And materials. We're always um, looking at new materials, so you can keep your eye on our materials page for anything new. Awesome. Thanks, Mara. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for uh, hanging out at Murph. That was a lot of fun. Let's do it again sometime. High five. High five.